Hey guys, today I thought I'd talk through some health tips and advice that I generally follow myself and think more people out there should be doing too to make sure you stay fit and healthy. Number one is drink lots of water. Three in every four Americans are chronically dehydrated, did you know? That means that they consistently don't get enough water. So I have one of these bottles, it's 20 ounces, and I basically take this with me wherever I go. Um, I generally drink about three of these every day, and I'd say that's probably about the right amount. Um, if you want to look up the exact amount that you should get, you should do so. But yeah, just you're probably not drinking enough water, so just always have a glass with you or a bottle and make sure you're just sipping it throughout the day. Not only does it mean your body can work properly and efficiently, it also can improve your skin, it can keep you energised throughout the day. And the other thing is, a lot of people think they're hungry when actually they're just thirsty. So you may find if you're eating too much and you want to cut down on the amount you're eating, just by sipping water all the time you won't feel as hungry all the time and you won't be eating more than you should be. Number two, skip the fruit juice or at least cut down. Did you know in a small glass of orange juice there is about six teaspoons of sugar? That is quite a lot. If you're eating the actual fruit rather than just the juice that comes from it, there's a lot more nutrients as a lot of them get stripped away when you juice it and there's a lot more fibre which is the stuff that will satisfy your hunger and stop you from eating later on. So it's better just to generally drink water and if you want to get your fruit cravings then eat the actual fruit themselves rather than the juice. And that leads me on to the third one, is to eat more fruit and vegetables. Only one in every 13 typical teenage girls will eat the right amount of fruit and vegetables and that's about five portions combined every day. You might think that it's not making a difference to your lifestyle at the moment but if you're, if you're not eating enough fruit and veg, later in life you're more at risk of those serious illnesses so better be eating those greens. Fourth one is to substitute bad snacks like chocolate bars and crisps for good ones like nuts and maybe raisins. Um, nuts do have a lot of fat but it's so much better to be eating the natural fat that occurs in nuts than the fat that occurs in a chocolate bar. So feel free to grab a few handfuls of those and they'll also keep you fuller for longer. And if you still have to really satisfy that chocolate craving you've got, then get dark chocolate. It's so much better for you if you get dark chocolate with a high percentage of cocoa solids, as basically there's a lot less butter and sugar thrown in there. Dark chocolate can also release endorphins in your brain that makes you feel happy. Number five is to be getting enough vitamin D and ideally from sunlight. If you live somewhere sunny or in the summer months, you should be getting about 10 to 20 minutes of sunlight directly onto your skin every day and that will let your skin generate the amount of vitamin D that's recommended by doctors. If you can't get that much sun, especially in the winter months or if you live in England where it rains all the time, then you should probably look into vitamin D supplements to keep you going. Vitamin D is just another one of those things that your body really needs to keep energised, keep healthy and to help your immune system fight off illnesses. Six, if you eat a lot of fish then that's great. You, there's a lot of oils and like omega-3 in fish that is really important for again keeping you healthy but also keeping your brain working to its best efficiency. So if you don't eat much fish or you don't really like the taste of fish and you don't want to eat more then you should look into getting some fish oil supplements. It's not quite as good as the real thing but it's still better than having none at all if you want to reduce the risk of heart problems and also just to give your brain a boost. Number seven, this is very important, people think that if you're trying to lose weight then if you just skip a meal like skip breakfast then it's going to be a great way of reducing your calorie intake. Well Scientific studies actually show that if you skip breakfast you're more likely to gain weight. So definitely make sure you are eating a healthy, good, big breakfast every morning without fail. If you're trying to lose weight it's actually one of the best things you can do having a big breakfast as it kickstarts your metabolism to get it going throughout the day and also gives you the energy to stay alert and active throughout the day as well. Number eight. If you eat a lot of white carbohydrates such as white rice, white bread, pasta and potatoes and you should definitely look at switching to the much healthier alternative that is um, whole wheat. So whole wheat bread, whole wheat pasta, whole wheat rice, it's so much better for you. When they refine it to make it white, they strip out so many of the nutrients that otherwise are there in the whole wheat alternatives. And for potatoes, obviously you can't get whole wheat potatoes, but you can get sweet potatoes and those are so much better for you as well and have a lot more nutrients and keep you fuller for longer. Number nine is make sure you're getting the right amount of sleep. Most people know that not getting enough sleep is pretty bad. Studies show that if you get six hours or less sleep a night, then you have a 12% increased risk of death, which is never good. But also, if you get too much sleep, it's even worse. If you get more than nine hours every night, then you actually had a 30% increased risk of death then. So make sure you get probably about eight hours is ideal for most people. Maybe up to nine if you're quite young and still growing, but definitely no more than nine. 
So there we go, hope you enjoyed those tips. These are all things that I do personally and I've sort of found out over the years of research and they're all scientifically proven stuff so I'm not just making it up off the top of my head, promise. But uh, feel free to do your own research to learn some more tips and if you do know any others, do leave them in the comments below so that other people can read through and get some more good advice. I've also just launched some new t-shirts so if you want to check them out, the link's below. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!